So this year at DDW, we had uh, a variety of uh, analyses, poster presentations, and an oral presentation talking about both atrazumab and alornab. And one of the oral presentations was presented by Dr. Piran Birale, and he presented data on histologic remission and mucosal healing coming out of our phase two OASIS trial in patients with ulcerative colitis being treated with atrazumab. So this is a secondary analysis of that OASIS trial. And in that trial, which was about 150 patients, uh, 50 per arm, roughly, uh, two doses of atrazumab, one milligram and two milligram, and a placebo control group. And the primary clinical endpoints from that phase two study were uh, related to the Mayo Clinic score, either the four domain full total Mayo score or a modified three domain uh, total Mayo score. And the primary results showed statistically significant and clinically meaningful improvements in both clinical remission and clinical response over 12 weeks of dosing. So this analysis, secondary analysis, uh, took an additional step further and looked at the more objective endpoints of um, uh, endoscopic improvement or remission and histologic improvement or remission, and then combined the two of them into a mucosal healing uh, score. And so uh, the uh, analyses showed that um, both endoscopic uh, improvement and remission and histologic uh, improvement and remission, and this histologic uh, was uh, uh, analyzed out of tissue biopsies that were taken during study. Uh, using the um, Gebos scale, and so there's specific definitions for what constitutes improvement at a tissue level uh, or remission at a tissue level, and then what constitutes improvement um, at an endoscopic level. And so we saw statistically uh, significant and clinically meaningful improvements across all of those, particularly the two milligram dose, which is the highest dose tested. And then when you combine them in terms of mucosal healing, uh, we saw um, that 20% of patients compared to 4% of patients in the placebo group 20%, uh, 2 milligram, uh, demonstrated mucosal remission, which was defined as um, endoscopic improvement with uh, histologic remission. So overall, these results are encouraging in terms of the very most objective measure of what the drug might be doing, looking both at the tissue level and uh, at a more macroscopic level at, uh, or macro level at uh, the endoscopic findings.